Yeah. The Lions at the Ravens. No questions here. No. Katie's Lions. My Lions. What are we talking about? These are my yeah, Lions. Our Lions. Our Lions. I, I, look, I love this. I love this Lions team. I mean, like, I, I am. I, I wish I could go back in time and change my. If I could go back in time, I would make my Super Bowl pick the Lions versus the Dolphins. Because, like, that, it just. In, it's like, like I, I like, I didn't like, you know, I would have concerns about the Dolphins and Lions hype is too big. But, like, man, I mean, they are just. Like they're like they are America's new team. Move over Jaguars, Browns. You had one 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 year with Baker Mayfield in 2018. You're done, son. Move over Jaguars. You were you were the team last year. Now it's the Lions. This is this is Dan Campbell, Jared Goff's redemption story. Like I see these Lions fans traveling around the country. Yeah. Like I, if you didn't see the videos of like Tampa, like like them invading Tampa Bay, it is Raymond James Stadium. It is awesome. And like I can't help but think about this stupid fo- college football team that I root for, and how we've just lost repeatedly in horrific fashion for like twenty plus years. And like, the, like we had a good year, like we won like nine games, and like Dave Dorn's done a good job with it. But like a couple of years ago, it was like we're going to Louisville, we're going to Notre Dame. Like it's like we are like everyone is like like when the team is good, we are traveling, and that's what these Lions fans are doing. I, I have no like they showed up at Lambeau Field, they showed up at Tampa Bay. I think they might show up in Baltimore and be loud for this game too, because they're like, who knows when the next time this team is going to have a chance to make a legitimate run is. Um, and I want the lions plus three. Uh, they are a, I, I worry a little bit about the injuries with David Montgomery, not like, like not likely out. Jameer Gibbs is limited to Greg Reynolds is on the injury report. So I think it's going to have to be the Jared golf show, but Jameson Williams is back and caught that long touchdown. He he stretches the field for them. Amron St. Brown, fantastic. Sam Laporta. And they have a really good passing game, really smart offense. And, yeah, the, the Ravens are a very good football team. But I think getting three, yeah, the hype train is, is heavy, RJ. But I'm going to take the Lions plus the three. And I think it's key to get it in now if you like the Lions. Um, I'm waiting because I just want to see the injury report and see how it looks. They've been dealing with injuries these last few weeks. It hasn't matter because of who's they who they played but this is baltimore this is a little bit different team here um second in yards per play first in yards per pass fourth in sack rate and second on in the red zone on defense um so I, this is a team where you want you know your full set of of um you know offensive players there and we don't know if that's going to be the case here detroit's offense struggle with the run versus tampa bay uh, and we don't know who's going to be a running back now defense playing really well but they also just faced atlanta green bay carolina tampa bay it's not a murderer's row of offenses that they've been facing here so um i do think they're good they gave up 300 93 yards to Seattle and they were helped by the Kelsey injury um, a few, uh, you know, 48 hours before the game against Kansas city. Um, so I don't know that they've been super tested. So we'll see if the wind is a factor here. If Lamar pulls it down and runs, give them a little bit of a different flavor offensively. I would lean to Detroit side because my power ratings only make it one and a half. I think these teams are even, and I think you only get one and a half points for being in Baltimore. Um, but if injury report looks bad, I'll stay away. So I'm only a lean Detroit right now. I'm all in on Detroit. I gave it for the parlay. I'm giving it now. Uh, Lions money line plus golf over one and a half passing touchdowns. I know a lot of people are worried about Jared Goff becoming one dimensional now that the run game um, is a little bit questionable with Montgomery out. And we don't know if Gibbs is going to play. I'm actually not that worried about it. And you kind of just said it, um, RJ. Yes, the Baltimore Ravens are second in red zone defense. But if you look at the quarterbacks that they've had so far, you got CJ Stroud. We talked about this on Monday, his very first game in the NFL. You got a banged up Burrow. Bro, DTR, Pickett, Ryan Tannehill, slash Malik Willis. Like, it's not like they've really been tested in the red zone um, either. And you look at someone like Jared Goff since week 10 of last season. Goff leads the NFL in EPA per dropback at 0.23 and ranks Classic. second with uh, in his pass rating at 105.6. Yes, no, Montgomery. We'll see what happens um, with Gibbs and The Ravens are always going to be a tough test in the ground game, but the Lions run defense ranks fifth in the NFL in terms of success rate at just 31.7 allowed. So I think this game has has the Lions all over it. I know a lot of people think that this is the best um, team in the NFC right now. I don't know if I necessarily believe that, but Jared Goff also, um, he has had at least one touchdown in six games so far this season. He's had two and 50% of them, and he's hit over on this prop in two of his last three. So if they're going to win with the passing game, then Jared Goff has to get at least two passing touchdowns. So those are my two best bets. Um, And just for uh, protocol purposes, you probably just take the plus three, I think, for the – because, like – because we don't, I mean, like, anyway. well, yeah, but like, I don't, I, I, I don't know how we would add it to the record. His, his point, his point is that you don't get any benefit for the show. Yeah, like, you should just take the plus three. Like, if they lose by three, it's a push. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I mean, like, we call just do shot and, when, and, yeah. well, just for like, for the best bets, like, you, you won't get like 1.3. 
You know what I'm saying? Like the re- oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you would, yeah. You would, okay, so because you, I'm, not gonna, the, I'm not getting the value on the odds. We're not. Right. I see what you're saying. But I do. I do like that you're saying. Like I think. Like, I call think the shot. Win. I think the yeah. line's going to win. Yeah, like for sports line or whatever. Like if you like when you like you probably put in the money line. Yeah, on I put it in. Line. I put in money on right. sports. Yes, exactly. Because it's plus one thirty. Exactly. No, I, yeah, I agree with you. Like I, that's the play if you like it, and we've got it in the parlay. But for uh, for purposes of your record, you would want the three points just because like. You're basically yes. getting like yeah. the mind, Harry, like 40. Harry, change this to three, yeah. even though I do think lines went outright. Yeah, you're, I just, think getting it's 40, just you're getting 40 cents of free juice and three points, which is like yeah. it's want. just important to know because we're, you know, we're, we're doing this for the listeners, you guys out there. And so yeah. Katie's saying there she would play the money line over the plus three because she just is confident they're going to win and thinks that's better value. So if you're out there making plays and, and you back Katie's read on this game, play the money line. But for this yes. podcast, she's going to take the plus three because, yeah. you know, yeah. we're, we're just looking at the records at the end. It doesn't really, we're not, we're not doing unit sizes or anything here. Yeah, thank thank you for that. That's that will yeah. save me potentially. So yeah, just wanted to make sure that yeah, you got like Although, like the lions, the lions, the lions lose by two, and it's like I get a I get a win, and you're like, <laughs> I mean, I feel like I kind of read the game right, or like you know, yeah. like a yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, I've got a best bet for this. Oh, game, sorry, guys. Bro. It's okay. Uh, it's Mark Andrews over fifty three and a half receiving yards. Mark Andrews has been solid this season. He's really yet to have a true breakout game. He's yet to eclipse 80 yards in a single game this year, something he did five times last year, seven times in the 2021 season. Uh, Everything looks good to me, especially the underlying metrics, elite route participation, air yards, uh, target share, all in the top 95th, 98th percentile at tight end. So everything looks good there. Uh, Also playing a Detroit defense that has been a pass funnel. They've also been very generous to opposing tight ends, giving up a ton of production to the position. So this looks like a potential ceiling game for Mark Andrews. That's why I like him to go over 53 and a half receiving yards. 